I have the song Lunch Money and it has 1,160,000 and 589 strings. And for this I only get $2.90. Hi, I'm not a famous artist. I only have 700 subscribers on Spotify, 200 subscribers on Bandcamp and about 500 on YouTube. Today I will show you the top 5 of my most popular songs tell you a little about them and show you how much I earned. Spoiler, sometimes enough for a pint of Guinness. No More Happiness. This song has 3,291 strings. It was released on June 25, 2021. And that time I was listening to Trip Hop very closely. Massive Attack and DJ Shadow, etc. Here I tried to play with this genre using several samples. I really like the result so far, and with it I earned to this day $4.31. I want to tell you that the numbers can be different depending on the source of the stream and whether your song was bought or not. I have songs with three times less streams but twice as much revenue, if you can call it revenue, and other strange stuff that I'll show you at the end of this video. Initially I just threw together a pop song in a few minutes to congratulate a friend on his birthday. Then I added a little EQ to it, removed the lyrics and posted the instrumental version on streaming. I just wanted to test how my audience would listen to something very simple in a pop style. The results were interesting. As of July 30, 2021, the song has received 8,168 streams and I have earned almost $11. Strangers in the Night. I wrote this song while I was getting into a synthwave. I wanted to move away from my usual underground and recreate something that could appeal to a broader audience. I bought a sample of female vocals and made a catchy bass line for it. Added vintage synthesizers and it turned out pretty good. The stats are 8,635 streams and $12.98 of profit. Ship with me. It's some kind of folk plus synthwave. I tried to make an ad with this song on Facebook ads, but if honest, I spent a lot more than I earned. Despite this, I love this song. I played it live a couple of times and I love the numbers. It could be a small achievement for someone, but for me it means a lot. 9,262 streams and $13.90 of profit. Minus, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks that I spent on an ad. Gravity Falls Synthwave version. This is the cover of my favorite cartoon. I just love this show and the title track is simply magnificent. I wrote this as part of my cover album of my favorite TV shows and games. Album name, but it's a synthwave. And for this track I have 10,661 streams and $35.27 of profit. I want to mention that here I'm not including stats from Reels and TikTok because it doesn't make any sense. Look at this. I have the song Lunch Money and it has 1,160,000 and 589 strings. And for this I only get $2.90. But it's not only one example, it's the same situation here and here and here and here. So, after several years of experimentation, I try not to focus on numbers. I still can't work in a genre I don't like. Chasing a broad audience makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. And for the last year, I have been focusing on the process itself. I can't live another way but to compose music. I love this process. It brings me peace and satisfaction, unlike chasing views. Yes, it's tough not to try to achieve this imaginary popularity, but the essence of creativity is not in numbers, it is in the process 
in communication through true self-expression. Also, I think it sounds very funny from a guy in a mask who is trying to create an image of an anthropomorphic lizard. I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching.